Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing and giving a little review on the Bottega BV tire boots. Now I decided to make this video because this is a super big splurge item, but it's also been something that's just been on my mind and I just wanted to get. Um, so for those that are kind of wondering, oh, should I just pull the trigger and get it or not? Is it worth it? Um, I just want to kind of give a first-hand view of what the shoe is like. And also, if you have been watching my videos and following me, I haven't been posting on YouTube as much lately, and I'm really sorry. I'm trying to get back on it. Um, like a month or two ago, I've transitioned onto like a new team at work. So I've been trying to get used to that, um, get used to my different hours and whatnot. Um, you know, corporate life, work life balance, making all that, trying to work. Yeah, I think I'm back on the grind now. I think I'm getting back on the groove. So you will see more videos from me soon. So make sure to subscribe and follow me on my other social media platforms. Okay, well back to the shoe, which comes in a really big heavy box. Um, yeah, it's like really hard to hold right now, but anyways. And just a little background, I feel like this item has been popularized recently, um, mainly because of the rise of Bottega over the past few years, and also based on the sort of fashion trends right now as well. Um, so I'm sure you've heard of Bottega. Like growing up, I feel like Bottega has always been a designer name that I've heard of, but it was never, you know, the biggest household name such as Louis Vuitton or Gucci. Um, but over the past few years, um, Bottega has been like the brand, the label to watch out for, named by many magazines, editorials. I mean, it is mainly because you have to give a lot of credit to the creative director, Daniel Lee who I believe has been the creative director since 2018. And then in 2019, he won like so many awards under Bottega, I believe like designer of the year, accessories of the year, a lot. But I mean, this is common to happen, especially when a big house brings in a new creative director. Um, obviously that person is going to have a lot of influence on the designs and works. So Daniel Lee is bringing his own knowledge and skills and inspirations from his past labels and bringing it into Bottega now. He's probably best known for being a director in Celine. He's also worked at Margiela Balenciaga. But yeah, it's not that surprising that Bottega has seen this rise, I'd say, um, especially when they're under caring, which is like a really big conglomerate right now. You know, other brands such as Balenciaga, Gucci are also under caring, so they have a lot of capital to invest in their brands. So why not inject some capital in a brand that can use a little boost? And overall, I think Daniel Lee has done a good job kind of reviving this whole, you know, artisanal take on the clothes and accessories. And also he's definitely incorporating and sticking to Bottega's Italian roots. And I think this whole look and vibe has been pretty trendy right now. You could see it with Giacomo as well. So yeah, it was like kind of a good timing and good pairing. And also the shoes themselves, they are extremely, extremely chunky. So they are, just you know regular chelsea boots that go up to your calf but i think the distinctive quality of this boot is that the sole is very very chunky and big it gives it this exaggerated effect and this is definitely kind of part of another trend in the fashion world right now um we've seen the chunky shoe be really popular with sneakers a few years ago um the dad sneaker just chunky soles everything um and now we've been seeing a lot more platforms and a lot more chunky soles kind of being transitioned over to more structured shoes especially in boots so i feel like this winter fall it's all about the platform and chunky soles right now anyways that was my little spiel on the boot and honestly i just couldn't quite find a really good dupe for the boot um i just really like the entire silhouette shape of the shoe and how exaggerated the sole is but let's take a first hand look now as i unbox the shoe all right as i mentioned before this box is huge and really heavy but not surprising i can like <laughs> i'm weak but honestly, it looks like someone already purchased this and returned it, just based on the box. Um, which is completely fine. Grabbing scissors, opening this. Okay. We have some ASMR going here. We 
get a dust bag with this same green going on. Very, very thick, very, very soft dust bag, I have to say. Here it is. So I actually got the transparent sole with this wavy detail going on. At first I really wanted the black on black, but when I saw this I thought it was really interesting and kind of wanted to try it out. Um, and for me I was just like, if I was gonna splurge, why not just get something a little different than the usual since I have a lot of black boots that have black soles. Um, but... Here's the other side. Let me just take this one out. There we go. And comes with this little card here. But yeah, they are very heavy and they actually look really big. I got my normal size and I usually wear 38s in boots. So, and they do look really big. I'm actually kind of worried that they'll be too big on me. Um, I just went with my normal size and I did hear you should size down, but I couldn't because they didn't have any in stock. Um, so I went with my normal on the larger side size and my feet are kind of wide compared to the length, so I always kind of go for the bigger one, but we will see. But here are some close-ups of the shoe. You have these, you have this little detailing up top um, to kind of help pull on the shoe. And, you know, it's a regular Chelsea boot, so it's just elastic on the sides. Um, so there's no opening, but at the top, the leather and then like the sole detailing and kind of the same thing happening both on the inside and out and the bottom of the soles oh my god these shoes are huge um look like this say boutique on the bottom over here and yeah Oh god, these are... I think my biggest comment is that they're so heavy. I feel like the back is where you can really see how chunky the sole is and how thick it is too. Um, yeah, it just looks like a platform almost. But yeah, there is the shoe. So I gotta say, you can really tell the quality is very high for these shoes. They look great, um, and they're honestly like that perfect chunky Chelsea boot silhouette um, that I personally really like. And when I tried these on, I was actually pleasantly surprised at how tight it was in the calf area. And I don't have ginormous calves or anything, they're not like super skinny either, but because it was so tight up there, I wasn't that worried um, about it being pretty, honestly pretty loose in the foot portion. Um, even if you're wearing socks, it was a little big around the foot. I'm wearing my normal 38 that I get in boots. Um, I could have gone for a 37 if I had the choice I probably would pick the 37. It's not the end of the world if I am stuck with these 38s though, because as I said, the calf portion is so tight. Um, I don't feel the boot really slipping that much. And you know, at the end of the day, these are Chelsea boots. They're super comfortable to walk in. Um, I didn't see any issues um, walking in them at all. I also tried something interesting here where I'm comparing two different boots. Um, I'm comparing the Bottega with another pair that I have that fits my foot like perfectly so you can kind of tell the difference. So conclusion time. Are these shoes worth it? Um, well, one, I don't think it's worth paying retail for these honestly um, and 
I actually didn't. I used an employee discount through a retailer. Um, so I paid uh, at least a couple hundred less than retail and the retail is over a grand on these shoes. So a lot of you might agree um, and might think it's crazy. But yeah, that's honestly a lot for a shoe and I just don't think this shoe is the one worth paying that much for. Um, I mean, obviously if you can get it at a discount, I think it is worth it. And to definitely, definitely size down. And I would honestly go like an entire size down, not even just a half. And possibly make sure you can return the boot if it does not fit. Um, I will probably try to exchange these for a smaller size. Um, I mean, from the bat, I would have bought a smaller size, but I just couldn't because they were out of stock and I don't think they were gonna get new stock for like an another like additional like few months. So maybe I'll just wait and see or just call them up and see when the new stock will be back. Um, but yeah, I do honestly, you know, I love the look of this. I love the shape of this. Um, and I also do really like the transparent sole. I feel like this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I don't know. I think it gives it a nice little touch to the boot. And I've always been a fan of chunky platform shoes. You could see me rocking my creepers all throughout high school. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad it's like a trend quote quote, but also the thing is like, I don't know, you don't have to follow trends. Like you should just wear whatever you want to. And I think I've always just gravitated towards like chunkier soles of the shoe. So now it's just, oh, glad to have more options that have these platform chunky shoes soles um, whereas before it was a little more difficult to find in stores trends come and go you should always just buy items that you genuinely like not just because it's in trend i mean personal style that's like a whole other topic but yeah that was my conclusion um hope you enjoyed this review slash unboxing um yeah it was the first time i made one of these videos hope it was actually helpful because that's kind of the point um you want to you want to show potential buyers if it's worth it or not. Um, but yeah, for me, give it kind of a thumbs up and try to get some promotions, sales, discounts, deals as you can. Um, and make sure to size down. Oh, and also make sure your feet can handle really heavy shoes because yeah, I mean, it could give you a good calf workout when you walk. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on my other social media accounts, and I will be back for another video soon.